Hey everybody, Stephanie here in my kitchen again. That's where I always am. I wanted to shoot a quick video to show you what I'm making for Jalen for his lunch. And so I always get asked, you know, how can you give vegetables to your two-year-old and still have him eat it? Well, sometimes it's tricky, but I wouldn't say that he's a picky eater because he actually really does eat a lot of stuff. Um, and I, you know, made all of his baby food and I introduced to him, you know, a lot of different kinds of food and different ways of doing it. So I kind of know what he likes. And one thing that he likes, I'm getting a text message. One thing that he likes is now when I give him his vegetables, it's got to be chopped up really small. <laughs> so, uh, which is fine. You know, at least he eats it. So in this pan, I put some olive oil um, and sauteed onions and garlic in the olive oil, waited till the onions were pretty translucent, and then I added some uh, small chopped carrots, and I actually had a parsnip, you know, I just, what I had in the fridge, I just chopped it all up, really small, because that's how he likes to eat it, is in really small bites, and then I just added some peas, and I had a, a bag of this organic peas, I actually got for a really, really good price, at the grocery store and then I'm gonna mix all of that when all those veggies are done I'm gonna mix that with I have jasmine rice in here that's about done it looks so yummy what I found with Jay is that um, regular white rice he would eat brown rice not so much but jasmine rice is his favorite and always has been his favorite so I tried with like you know a bunch of different kinds of rices and jasmine rice he just loves so I'm gonna mix all of that together just put it in a bowl and voila now he has lunch, he has his veggies, he has a grain. Really simple, really fast, really easy on the wallet as well. You can just use whatever you have. Jalen likes broccoli, but he only likes it when it's sauteed with olive oil and garlic. Um, you know, just taking that little bit of extra step. But also, if you are, you know, busy, 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 always on the go, um, what you can do is chop those things up the night before. Um, or you could even just saute everything together, make the rice, and then the day of, just put everything together and heat it up. And that's really, really simple, really quick to do. So that is my lunch tip that I'm giving to you today. So click on the link below, head on over to my website, subscribe to me so you don't miss out on any more of my amazing mom tips, recipes, and for you moms that are in business, all of my tips that I'm giving to you. So ta-ta for now.